dive with some new curriculum videos. It's going to be a couple of spider guard tweaks, okay? So, first one, I'm going to be, he's going to be sitting down, or excuse me, he's going to be on his knees. This one works whether he's on his knees or whether he's in a knee. Okay? I'm going to go double sleeve grips, scoop myself in, one foot on the hip, one foot in the bicep, okay? Whenever I have a spider guard, I want the middle of my foot right in the middle of his bicep. I'm pulling on the sleeve and I'm extending my leg out completely, trying to really make him feel like a, like a scarecrow right here. Once my, my leg is fully locked out and I'm pulling on this, I can manipulate him really, really well with this. I'm gonna get up on my elbow on the other side. Notice this one is chambered in, tight, okay? I'm gonna be on my side here. What I'm gonna do is take this foot off the hip now, sweep his leg out, or push it out like this, trigger sweep style. But the main thing that makes this sweep work is steering him over like a big old steering wheel with my foot, okay? When I'm ready, I drop the leg, sweep and big steer, come right up in the mount. And I like to pull up on the sleeves, okay? Again. Open guard, double sleeve, scoot in, foot on hip, foot on bicep, fully extended up on my elbow, okay? Drop my leg to the ground, sweep the leg out, steer him over it, pull, and come up in the mount, all right? That's option one. Option two. Uh, you can do it. Okay. Can we go to knees? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to start, same thing. We're here and here, but now he stands up, okay? Instead of going on to my elbow now, what I'm going to do is, everything else stays the same. I'm still locking this out. I'm still, you notice when you have a good spider guard, how well I can move him, right? I can really move, manipulate his body with this. I want his head more down and his hips more up for this. What I'm going to do is put my, take my leg off of his hip, my foot off of his hip. I'm going to hook my instep to his side right here. Okay? I'm going to underhook this leg, scoop myself in nice and close. Now from right here, what I want to do is chamber him. So I'm going to bring my knees, bend my knees and my elbows, bring everything into me, and then extend him away. So I pull him in, and then I extend out, and I can come right up. Okay? I'm, I'm coming up using his body to help me with momentum. Again, I go for the first sweep, scoot in, foot on hip, foot on bicep, he's already standing up. I take the foot off the hip, hook it to the instep. Underhook the legs, pull myself in nice and close, all right? I chamber him in, and from right here, any direction I feel his weight going, that's the way I'm gonna take him, right? Like, pick a direction. He goes that way, I'm taking him over this way. Come back. He goes maybe back this way towards my head, I'm taking him over this way, and I'm rolling over, right? Whichever way I feel him go, most of the time he's going to go the way the first direction. Can we do it again? Most of the time what ends up happening is we go this way, right? I hook him in, I pull, I chamber, I'm going to straighten my legs out now. I come up and usually I'll finish this in like a tight knee on belly, okay? Cool with that? Any questions? Good. Thanks guys. I'll see you again next time.